Bonjour, bienvenue à tous pour ce nouveau Get Ready For Ultra Season. Aujourd'hui, nous sommes dans le sud-ouest de l'Angleterre, près de Poole, où nous sommes venus à la rencontre de Jess Bragg, coureur du team de North Face International et Ultra Runner. Donc euh, aujourd'hui, il participe à une course sur route. On va à sa rencontre et on va l'encourager juste avant le départ. Oh, okay. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, good. Allez, 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 allez. Yeah, it's all right, yeah. It's a good run for... It's not uh, more hot or... It's quite hot, yeah. yeah. And it's very short. It's the summer. It's the summer. Good. Very intense. Yeah, yeah, yeah good. it's good. It's good. Kept a good pace. We're uh, 117. One. Good. So, yeah. It's a very good jump. Yeah. Now, Jazz, what is the benefit for you? The race? More flat? Uh... Uh, so, I, I do um, shorter races to help my leg speed. So, um, maybe every two or three weeks early in the season. I do these short races, um, they're really fast and intense. Yes, last year you win the North Face Ultra Trail Tour du Mont Blanc. What is your secret? Oh, my secret? Yeah. <laughs> um, I took regular trips to the mountains. I went to the Highlands in Scotland, yeah. uh, Snowdonia, um, the bigger hills in Northern England. As well, I went to um, the Alps on two or three occasions and I did long um, um, training runs on the full route of uh, the North Face Ultra Trail Tour de Mont Blanc. And then I also train a lot on the hills, on the trails, which is just there in the distance. Um, so a real mixture and we'll, uh, we'll go there, I'll show you. Yes. What um, your organization and uh, your balance for the job and the training? Yeah. You have a job? I have a job, yeah. I work four days a week as a construction project manager. Yeah. Um, so it's difficult to train during the week. Okay. Um, so I train in the evenings. I go out um, at night running on the trails with a head torch. But then at the weekends, um, I come down here to the south coast and I mean, you've seen the area we've been training on today. It's just incredible. Some lovely hills and the coastal path and all that sort of stuff. Now, uh, Jez, you just joined the Global Athlete, the North Face, and how did you get there? But I mean, I've, I've been ultra running for seven years now. My first race was in 2004. Okay. Um, and I've just been trying to improve year on year to, to try and you know, run at a higher level, um, become faster uh, over the distances year on year. So it's, it's great to have North Face supporting me um, and to be able to be, be involved in, you know, the product design and development and testing and all that side of things. And now you, your objective for the whole season? So I've got two key races planned for the year. The Western States 100, which is uh, in California at the end of June, and the North Face Ultra Trail de Mont Blanc at the end of August as well. Um, earlier in the year, I've got a couple of races in the UK planned just to kind of build up to, um, they're, they're ultras, but they're, they're, they're relatively low key races. Um, one of them is up in uh, Scotland, yeah. the West Highland Way, which we were both yeah. out training on uh, last year. So. Um, that's, that's the first one coming up, which is at the end of April, so yeah, looking forward to the season ahead, it yeah. should be good. Yes, sure. Now, we are going to the new spot. Yeah, next we're going to go to Lulworth Cove, which is another section on the southwest coast path, um, part of the Jurassic coastline in Dorset. So we'll go there and we can check out some more trails and, and chat some more. So. And uh, now for the training, uh, 
how do you how do you training uh, for the preparation of the new season or for the preparation of uh, summer and spring? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think the key for me is variety, not necessarily lots and lots of miles on the yeah, trails, yeah. although they're important. I think it's more important. Um, and so I do quality sessions and then I recover. I recover really well, yeah. um, ready to, to train again. So it's a, it's a really important balance between uh, quality miles but not overtraining and allowing your body to recover. Okay, and uh, for your alimentation, for the nutrition. recovery, nutrition? Yeah, so nutrition for me is absolutely key between your training sessions to allow your body a proper chance to recover so you can train at the intensity you want it to. So I think just Keep it simple, a good, balanced, healthy diet uh, with plenty of protein to help your, your muscles yeah. recover yeah. and you know, a good level of carbohydrate to replace your glycogen stores in your muscles. Pour faire référence au conseil de Jazz, le printemps est la bonne période pour travailler l'endurance active. Je vais vous donner les notions importantes afin de réaliser ce type de séance. Tout d'abord, équipez-vous d'un cardiofréquencemètre de manière à contrôler précisément votre zone de travail, entre 75 et 85% de votre maximum. Côté exercice, débutez par des répétitions de 2-3 fois 10 minutes que vous allez augmenter progressivement. Vous pouvez faire évoluer l'exercice jusqu'à 2 fois 30 minutes, voire enchaîner une heure. Pensez à votre nutrition et à votre hydratation avant, pendant et après vos entraînements pour éviter les coups de fatigue. Yes, uh, thank you for your advice. Thank you for the training, for your invitation. You're very welcome. It's been great to have you here. Yeah. And uh, see you in the training. Yeah, in July yeah. for the training um, on the course for the North Face Ultra Trail de Mont Blanc. Yes. Et pour nous, bah, après avoir enlevé euh, les bottes, euh, les cirés et puis euh, les capuchons, bah, on se retrouve euh, donc pour le prochain Gatrelli Fort et euh, direction la France. <rire>